Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Join us friends to know what tragic accident happened to Edgar Hansen. At the end of video, I am going to reveal why he fired from deadliest catch. Watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Before we start exploring these revelations, it is essential that we understand the factors that formed Edgar Hansen character. In the Discovery Channel show Deadliest Catch, which is about capture crab in the Northern Sea, Edgar Hansen served as the ship's leader of the Northwestern. His brothers, Sig, the captain of the ship, and Norman, who was a deckhand, worked beside him. The brothers' father passed the company on to them after teaching them how to catch fish. Edgar's passion of the sea was evident from an early age, having grown up in a fishing-loving family. Edgar's career was significantly impacted by the extensive seafood industry experience of his father and grandparents. Edgar Hansen entered his family's business, continuing the customs set down by his parents and grandfather. At the age of 18, Edgar started working as a deckhand aboard the fishing vessel Northwestern. Edgar's family said he was unreliable because of his carefree attitude. He showed wisdom even at such a young age, and he got to work really hard. Edgar's life has had many highs and lows, but he has never thought of giving up. He puts an enormous amount of work into his job and is confident in its excellence. Edgar rose to fame as a result of his participation in the Deadliest Catch television series on Discovery Channel. The show portrays real-life incidents that take place during the Bering Strait crab hunt. One of most renowned ships on the show, the Northwestern, has served as a part of Deadliest Catch since the start. His brothers, Norman and Sig, were also on the show. Edgar is not just a skilled fisherman, additionally has an amazing understanding of the complex electronics and mechanics on board the Northwestern. His technological know-how has been essential to the vessel's capacity to operate under challenging conditions. Edgar's biting sense of humor and keen wit make him somewhat endearing. Because of his ability to inject comedy into the difficult and hard sport of crab gathering, he has gained international recognition. Edgar's story gained popularity in 2018 and was swiftly circulated on social media. Edgar was the main culprit of a dramatic incident, including the sexual abuse of a 16-year-old girl, according to the news. Although the victim chose to stay unidentified, details of her case would ultimately appear on the internet. After all, an established reality celebrity stars in it. The majority of reports claim that the young child disclosed the trauma to her counselor and disclosed that the event had place in September 2017, one year prior to the story becoming known. The victim, whose has requested confidentiality, said that she spoke to Edgar Hansen for the first time at the house in Snohomish County, Washington, where the offense was committed. Unfortunately, the general population was never made aware of how Edgar first got to know the girl or the fact that they might be related. Since the victim's identity is unidentified, little is known about this charge as of yet. Edgar has now admitted culpability, despite the fact that numerous individuals would find it difficult to believe such allegations. As his spouse approached him, he first rejected the idea, but his attorneys encouraged him to accept a plea bargain while the prosecution was still ongoing. Edgar later acknowledged mistreating the girl's genital in order to have intercourse and gratify his own lusts. Edgar entered into a plea agreement and offered an apology, but the judge nonetheless found him convicted of fourth-degree sexual abuse. Edgar received a sentence that included two years of probationary periods, a suspended term of three months in prison, and a commitment to participate in a rehabilitation program aimed at preventing him from repeating similar offenses in the years to come. Edgar was also had to pay the court an estimated $4,800 in penalties. Some may not believe that the actual star's penalty is warranted, even if it becomes harder. Edgar was made to file as a sexual predator and provide a specimen of his genetic material to the court, in case it was ever required as a compare. Edgar told a court, I conducted the crime for the sake of my own personal pleasure. I've started therapy to make sure anything like this never occurs again, and I really apologize for what I did and the suffering it caused. He ultimately was removed from the program in the most tactful manner imaginable. It's odd that he continues to work on the Northwestern program after quitting. Some fans claim to have observed him in the foreground of a few photos. Edgar was fired by the producers of Deadliest Catch and the Discovery Network as a consequence of his conduct. Thus, he had to depart the program as quietly as could. Sadly, 
Word of his shocking error circulated rapidly, making it difficult for him to exit the program as discreetly as Discovery Channel had anticipated. Even though Edgar is unable to get out in front of the video cameras, it seems that he is still allowed to work on the Northwestern. A subsequent tweet suggests that Sig's daughter Mandy has continued to serve as his brother's fishing boats engineer in charge and deck captain. Edgar, in any case, will never return to the program. Edgar Hansen is not the sole individual who was suspected of abusive behavior, as numerous individuals may be aware. The sole distinction between Sig Hansen's and the other person's complaints was the victim's decision to disclose her identify and make her allegations public. She turned out to be Sig's ex-wife from a prior getting married, but thankfully Sig was never charged with any of the offenses brought against him. As part of the law enforcement inquiry, Sig took and passed a test to detect liars. Due to a lack of proof, the court never took the matter further than the investigation stage. Later, Sig informed the media that the only persons trying to manipulate them were his daughter's estranged mother and ex-wife. Edgar Hansen is reportedly valued around $900,000. Edgar may be able to increase his income via advertising and sponsorships. That's how his incredible fortune comes to be. Sig Hansen, his sibling, is said to have a $3 million net worth. Since his brother receives the same salary of $500,000 for every show, his brother's net worth is bigger. Edgar and Louise Hansen were committed to one another throughout the whole of their relationship. The two have been in a long-term relationship. It was on the set of Deadliest Catch that Edgar met his future bride. Over time, they became into close friends and eventually started dating. He asked her to marry him in 2009, and they were married shortly after. The couple is presently caring for Logan, Stephanie, and Eric Hansen, their three children. He lives in Seattle with his family. There are currently no women associated with Edgar. Hansen started his job in the fishing sector before he was 18 years old and hired as a cook at the Northwestern. He developed a variety of abilities throughout time and he is now the ship's backup captain, chief engineer, and deck supervisor. His devotion to the fishing profession and his help in providing food for the crew have earned him a reputation as one of the ship's greatest fishermen. Edgar loves to fish, but he also has a great desire to give back to the community. He has carried out several charitable activities, improving the lives of others and promoting issues that are dear to his heart. Edgar is a highly motivated learner who is always seeking for methods to increase the scope of his expertise. He is committed to continuing his own development by staying current with company innovations and picking up new fishing skills. Edgar takes comfort in his interests when he's not navigating the stormy seas. He enjoys going camping and hiking, spending time with his close friends and family, and finding joy in the little things in life. Edgar is an excellent storyteller because to his numerous fishing exploits. He can narrate captivating tales about his time spent at sea, which heighten the mystery around his already intriguing character.